Well, Shiny Mountain Zoo is home to many different animals and exhibits and also African bird shows. With us this morning is Geneva Turner from the African Rift Valley. Good morning. Good morning. Here's an animal show star. Who did you bring with us today? This is Petrie. He's our male Avicennian ground hornbill. He's one of our many stars in our Wings of Africa bird show that we have every day in African Rift Valley. Um, his role in the show is to wow guests as he flies across the giraffe yard. Wow, and we're taking a, a, a look at his large bill. I know that's yeah. something you get a lot of questions about, right? Yeah, it can be a bit intimidating. It's um, huge. That, <laughs> that bill is very important for hornbills and finding food. Um, when they're looking through the long savanna grasses for things like snakes and lizards, they also flip over rocks and break open rotten logs to, in order to find food. Yeah, and I see, I, it's not often we, you know, have a guest that brings a little uh, bag full of <laughs> crickets. Is that what it is? Uh, You're feeding yes, it crickets? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> we have um, some leaves. So you it doesn't see. just eat the crickets? No, he'll eat all kinds of things. Okay. Anything from rodents and snakes, lizards, frogs bird's eggs to mealworms. He's got mealworms bon in the uh, leaves there that he's going <laughs> to sift through and look for. What are some other interesting uh, characteristics about Petrie here? The long Whoa. eyelashes. <laughs> yeah, he's going to make a mess of your studio. <laughs> we have a vacuum, I think. Okay, good. <laughs> he, those long eyelashes, that's pretty unique for birds. They have beautiful long eyelashes that help protect their eyes from the sun and the dust. Okay. Now, I know with all the different animals, a lot of training goes into them for these shows. What, yep. you know, how, how do you train wild animals like this? Right. Right. Well, for Petrie, for instance, for his flight, it took a few months for us to train his flying behavior because he's never flown before, right, so right. we had to condition him to flying long distances. So we started off stump to stump, just hopping across and reinforcing him with insects and meat for doing that, and then we moved him up to the giraffe yard, or giraffe building and used the, the big stalls, not with giraffe in them, of course, right, right, right. <laughs> um, to get him used to flying long distances, and then we took him outside so that he could get used to flying outdoors wow. with all those distractions. Yeah, so. I think we have some video that kind of shows some of this, and I know you say it, it's it's like training a dog. Like, I, that seems impossible to me, but you say consistency is really the key. Consistency using positive reinforcement techniques, which basically just means that we are, um, where do, we don't make our animals do anything that they don't want to do. If they right. don't want to participate in the training session, that's okay. They just don't get any fun treats for not doing that. So um, most of the time, our animals are really eager to train with us. So why is this a must-see? Why should people who head out to the zoo, you know, take advantage of seeing these animal shows? Well, because our animal behavior shows get a chance for us to show off our animals, you know, natural behavior sure. that they would see in the wild how they survive in the wild and um, they get to see behaviors that they wouldn't necessarily get to see if they were just coming to the zoo um, on a regular visit so there's lots of other shows besides <laughs> Wings of Africa. I think he's looking for crickets. <laughs> <laughs> he's finding stuff in there definitely. Besides like a scavenger hunt. <laughs> it, it, it is, it is. Um, besides Wings of Africa there's the Rainforest Review and Monkey Pavilion and um, Bear Necessities and Rocky Mountain Wilds. There's lots of shows going on throughout the zoo um, on a day-to-day -day basis that the shows change so the best way so that you don't miss any Thing when you come to the zoo is just to log on or onto our website um, to check out the show schedule as well as just sign up for a text for that um, show schedule to be sent to your cell phone. And there's a website, cmzoo.org. Let's put some information on your screen about these animal shows because they do vary. And I know, um, you know, you can get the details there, but you can also text zoo, right, on a certain day of the week. And the, there's, a, there's a number there. What are you going to get if you text zoo? You get, um, you get a, a show schedule um, for either the morning or the, e the afternoon, depending on the time okay. of the day. Um, with all the shows in it. So the shows are free, just zoo admit, admittance, right? Exactly. You just have to pay to get in and, yep. and then take advantage of these yep. shows. All right, cmzoo.org. Petrie, <laughs> we need the vacuum. <laughs> you yeah. are very messy here. You remind me of, I, I don't know, my daughter and her friends sometimes on a <laughs> sleepover night. All right, thanks so much for bringing them in. That's going to be the biggest bird we've ever had here at Fox 21 Morning Hopefully. News. Hopefully. Thanks so much. See all you, right. Petrie. What do you think of that, Jeff? Oh, well, it looks like Petrie was eating cornflakes. No, they're leaves. <laughs> okay. Uh, first bank